Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chapin. That's Daisy Egan. Uh, if you have any questions for our amazing guest today, guys, uh, Judy Norton, give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. I'm way jazzed about this, by the way. I am, too. We have cool. Judy Norton from the Waltons in with us. It's weird. It's like having a, you know, I just feel like I, I kind of feel like I grew up with you and here you are sitting here. Yeah. It's neat. Very cool stuff. I still get starstruck. Thanks not for joining lie. us, Judy. Uh, my pleasure. Judy um, is not only an actress. She also um, is a vocalist. She's a writer. She's a director. She's kind of a jack of all trades in the yep. industry. A Judy of all trades. A Judy of all trades. <laughs> um, <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. Let's just, I don't know. Let's just, uh, there's so much to talk to you about. Let's just start with what you're doing now, though, because you were telling us some really great stuff in the pre-interview um, about a film that um, you're working on called Last Chance Ranch. Yeah, that's a film that I wrote. Um, it's for an independent feature. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got funding at the end of last year, and so it is in pre-production and is slated to film mm, late spring, summer, something like that this year, probably for release in 2013. Wow. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Is this your first uh, screenplay? It's my first screenplay that's been sold. Wow. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I've written a lot of, I first started writing for theater. Um, I worked with a theater company up in Canada for eight years. And for the, all that time, we were responsible for writing and directing five original shows a year for this company. Wow. So I did that for eight years. And um, then started writing for a couple of other producers, usually, you know, strictly commissioned stuff. I need this, this many characters, this theme, and, you know, I need it by this date. It'll open on this date. It'll close on this date. And, you know, so mm -hmm. a lot of that kind of writing work. And then, uh, yeah, I was talking with a friend of mine one day a couple of years ago, and we were saying, oh, let's make movies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those silly, like, uh, you know, four-hour coffee things. And, um and um, Jeffrey, who's the executive producer on the project, and we're like, well, what kind of film do we want to do? It's like, well, it's only with horses, you know? It's like, well, period stuff's too tough to do. It costs too much. Let's do something with, like, modern day, like a ranch thing. So, you know, we sat around, and I said, well, we could do this. We could do this. And we both love music, and so it's got a whole country-western soundtrack aspect to it. And, you know, so there's going to be a lot of original music in the in the film as well. And it's great. So it grew from there. And you're doing a cameo in it, too. You're playing I a realtor? Am. I am. Yeah. So I, I've yet to find out whether she's actually going to be Southern or not. I might have to dig back out my little <laughs> Walton Southern accent what, for a little while. What made you decide to not write yourself, you know, the starring role? Well, I did, originally. <laughs> <laughs> Because originally this was going to be one of those kind of like down and dirty things, like let's get it done for like, you know, no budget basically. And, you know, it was kind of like, all right, well, then I'll do the lead, you know. And then it started growing, in the, in, and not that it's a big budget, but it ended up a little bit bigger budget. So then it became the mat, you know, there was questions about, you know, it wasn't something that I was exactly right for. Mm. And it was, you know, they're like, oh, well, we probably should get somebody with, you know, more. F I have a lot of television credits, but I don't really have film credits. So then it was kind of like, well, maybe we need to get somebody with some film credits. And so it just kind of like started moving around. And it was kind of like, look, do whatever you have to do. You know, I'll, I'll take the cameo role. I'm like, that's what I get for, you know, I like I wrote myself too big a part. So then <laughs> <laughs> I wrote myself out of a part. <laughs> That's very big of you to yeah. actually be mm. willing to do that. I don't well, know if I could is, do it if I had written it. This is five months after the fact of having the initial bomb dropped on me that, like, maybe you don't get to do the role you wrote for yourself. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sylvester Stallone wouldn't have taken it. Well, you know what? If I had been willing to go and, and find all the money myself, then I could have probably yeah. held the line on it. But I'm not someone who goes around raising, you know, I'm not a finance person. Right. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, to me, the opportunity to get my first film script produced was more important than holding the line. You know, there's a, there'll be other acting roles. There are, you know, I have other opportunities. So getting that done and being there, you know, to support the project in whatever way I need to and can as, as the writer was totally fine with me. It's more about the project than it is about you. Yeah, it was more actually exciting to me to have the opportunity to get something I wrote produced as from a film standpoint. So I was willing to, you know, pass on the other because, you know, that was, this is something new. This is a new challenge. So it opens new doors to continue down that road. And I have a couple of other spec scripts that I'm working on now because of that. Writing is such right. a hard thing I find you know I, I'm, I'm a writer as well I mean certainly not in any kind of like serious 
a professional way, but it takes so much discipline, you know, to, to sit down every day and say, I'm going to write today. Sure. Yeah. It's hard. And it's so solitary. Yeah, and it, and it it takes so much longer than you think. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll sit down and and some days it's just the flow of of especially a first draft. You know, and I'm trying to get it done, and I might get to the end of the day and go, I got eight pages written today, which sounds like nothing. But, but when you're trying lot, to create yeah. real life situation and dialogue that flows and tells a story, it's it, it's a lot slower than <laughs> than I'd like at times. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, we'll be back to talk to you a little bit more of that. Call in with your questions. Yeah, 800-336-2225 on La La Land with Brett and Daisy on CRN Digital Talk.